baby. Okay, we're almost done the grooming, okay? So, hello everybody. I just wanted to show you how I clip uh, between a Shih Tzu's eyes. And uh, he has a pretty short nose, like a Shih Tzu usually has. Some of them have longer noses, but he's a short nose. Just want to show you how I do between, between the nose. Now make sure the dog is washed and um, all combed out. You want to make sure it's all combed and in between the eyes it's all you know freshly washed because you don't want any hard pieces of you know sleep in there or anything. So make sure it's all clean. Okay, so I pull the hair in, or the skin back. It moves. It doesn't hurt the dog, obviously. There we go. Now these scissors are, um, you can see the ends, they're safe to use, they're not sharp. Stay still honey. And yes, he moves around a lot. So I got the middle done there. And then these pieces, sorry he's pulling on my hand, hang on one sec. Okay, I gave him a little bit of a break. A lot of dogs don't like this when they have the short noses. I just don't like to be messed with. Okay, so I just come from the side there. And I'm holding the head here so I can pull the skin back. So I just get the hair that's right in the folds there. I'm oh, sorry, sweetie. And you can just let the, the head rest. See what it looks like. Give it a comb and just take your time here in this area. Find all the Shih Tzus are um, very sensitive in this area. Okay, so now that the head's just normal, I'm just gonna let the um, not pull the skin, like let it be normal. So I take the head and I look from the side, and you can see the hair that's overhanging overhanging the eyes and I just trimmed that off okay, so this hair grows really fast and you just got to keep it away from the eyes so like that I'm just holding him under the chin without pulling the skin there. It's okay. There. Like that. Now I'm going to tidy him up. I just said I got the camera right in the middle of his head there and I can't really see through my camera there. So I hope this helps you. So just overall you can pull the, the skin up while you clean all in here. Use scissors, you can use with the blunt the blunt tips. Now usually I do use um, these scissors which is about I think six inches, but they're pretty long and they got a pointy um, you know point. So if the dog's moving and you're cutting so close to that eye when you're angling here, you can poke them in the eye because the Shih Tzus have the you know the kind of the bulgy eyes. So if you want to get the proper scissors or you can use um, the thin and shears which normally have a rounded tip and that would be a good idea as well. I'm going to show you the thin and shears I have. Now I have these uh, thin and shears they are a little bit long but you see that the tips are rounded so if you're using the thin and shears near the eyes you know you got less chance of uh, um, poking them with the poke. But anyways I got these recently and they're, look how small they are. It's a lot better. I like them, especially in, in, in small spaces, not so long, especially in between the eyes of a Shih Tzu. He, he, he moves around a lot, so that's why I don't like using the, the pointy um, shears. Alright, so I hope this helped you and uh, give me a thumbs up if you like my videos and you can subscribe if you like. Just hit the bell icon there and that way you'll know when I upload a video because otherwise YouTube doesn't tell you. and. Um, we hope to see you in the next video and um, thanks for watching.